This is the white clover, Tritholium repens. It's named after its three leaves. You also get four-leaf versions, the famous lucky four-leaf clover. And that's uh, a well-known genetically controlled characteristic. What is less known about this plant is it shares with a number of other plants and even a few animals of what's called cyanogenesis, that is the ability to produce hydrogen cyanide which will deter small grazing mammals. Now this ability can also be a problem. It seems to reduce their effectiveness in terms of surviving drought and also in the northern climates where you get frost the frost can cause a sort of tissue damage that releases the chemicals producing hydrogen cyanide that affects the plant itself. So the further north you go, the fewer of these plants have that hydrogen cyanide producing ability.